Hey, I just read on uh, Ableton Live's forum, somebody was asking how to do a setup after you install the program itself and um, how to set up the audio so you can get the audio going and get it to where you want. Um, it took me, man, off and on for a good five weeks or so to figure out what I was doing when I first started. Because I, I had a friend that used Live, but he didn't. He was having problems getting the, uh, the audio to work just like he wanted uh, with no clicks, no pops, and no delay. I mean, you can minimize the delay to the, the latency, which is delay um, for the purpose of this conversation is the latency is delay. Um, you go more in depth with it, but for, for this conversation, it's a, for this instruction tutorial thingy, latency is delay. Um, basically, you want to get it to as close to zero as you can within maybe four milliseconds. Um, most people really can't hear that. Um, I get mine to about two. Um, although it says zero right here, that's a compensation thing within live. Now I've got my own driver right here because I have an audio box and PreSonus, which I love. Uh, but a lot of people don't have an, any sort of external um, digital sound processing, um, the DSP, if you will. They just have what came with their uh, laptop or desktop or what have you, and they want to put audio out to their speakers. Now, while I don't recommend that, if you're just starting, you, that's most likely what you're going to use. Um, so what you need to do is um, if you go into preferences, it's gonna, preferences is going to be options, preferences. In older versions of live, I believe it's in very much about the same spot. You go over to the tab that says audio, click that. Now, the driver type more than likely is going to be on MME or DirectX. Um, there might be another one it may be on. Now if it says no audio, you may be in trouble because you most likely don't have a device at all or one that's disabled in your, in your system settings or your device manager. It may be disabled or you straight up just don't have one. Um, so there you're going to have to go get one if you don't because it's going to kind of suck making music or doing whatever audio if you can't hear it. So select from this or whatever else it is on and click ASIO. This one is my own personal one, like I said, but you're going to click ASIO and I've got two on here. ASIO for all. That's what you're going to want to go to get. It's ASIO for all dot com. Just go to that and I think they came out with the driver a little over a year ago. That was related to someone, but it works very well. And I'll show you how to set it up here. And right here, disregard what it is set to right now. That is for my current driver. So I'll show you what to do right here. You eventually want to get it all to zero, just like that. Um, so go to hardware setup. No, click there. It's going to change up, and this is going to come up. Um, just a little bit of info. Um, click hardware setup. And if you click the wrench, that shows you the advanced settings. Um, if you ever click the diamond looking thing, or it looks, I guess, like a parachute, um, it's going to put it back to default factory settings. So, what I'm going to do right now is click that, and as you can see, it, the latency is just way off. You want to get it as close to zero or zero if you can. Um, I am going to turn this all the way down to 64 samples, very low. Um, go into here, okay, click out of that. Um, and it's set to 64 right there. So every time you open it up, you go up and down. It won't set until you close out of this. So I'm going to set it to 64. Um, these are all my plugins right here. Um, go with an instrument. I'm going to go with a simple analog. Let's try some keys. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Doesn't really matter what I pick. Um, let's go with an accordion. It's loading. Now I'm playing it and you can't really hear anything. Um, let's go to hardware setup. All right, sorry. I am having it. I need to have it come out of this one. Close that. Now mine, for some reason, it's actually coming right out, um, which is weird. Normally it doesn't do this. There's a lot of clicks and pops that you're going to have. So what you're going to want to do is, I'm going to show you, oh, sorry, I had, I had it clicked on the wrong one. Whatever is selected up here, it goes to down here. So I'm going to drop this down to 64, and it's, I guarantee it's going to click and pop. Yeah, if you can hear that. Sorry, it's coming out of my speakers, out of my audio box, into the one I'm talking into. So my setup's a little funky for recording this, but it's just for instructional purposes. It's not supposed to do that. It's not supposed to, it's supposed to click and pop like that. So every time you're going to open it back up, the hardware setup. What I recommend is going up one increment every time. So 
go to 72. Still having some clicks, pops. Work your way all the way up um, until it stops clicking and popping. And then what I usually do, I'm trying to find my own right here where it's going to not click and pop. What I always what I always do is I find where the top one or the low setting where it doesn't click pop there's no artifacts and go up one more that way you're completely safe. So once you've got that to where it's not clicking and popping just close that. Um, and like I said every time you go into it it's not going to set this to the buffer size here until you close out of it. So you can't just move this around it won't have any effect you got to click out of it every time. I'm just going to leave mine at 128. And most people, unless you got a pretty fast computer, um, once you hit a key, it's not going to come out right away. Um, so what you want to do, normally it's going to be like way up here somewhere. And it, it's coming out a little bit after I hit the key. What you want to do is try to get this all the way down to zero. And this part right here, not to zero, but in here. Once you get it pretty close, um, unclick the MS, which I believe stands for milliseconds. SMP, I'm not sure what that stands for, but it's a lot finer tuning. Just find where it's right there. It's 320 for me. And everybody's setup right here is going to be a little bit different. This, this is not like a catch-all. It's not going to be for everybody's settings. are not going to be exactly the same. I guarantee that. Depends on your process or your RAM and all that stuff. So I'm playing, and it's, it's spot on right when I'm hitting it. It's lighting up the MIDI right here. So that's how you use ASIO for all. Um, like I said, mine is it's ASIO based, but it's for the audio box, which I, I use. So I use that driver because for my box, it works a lot better. Um, and I can use all the features on my box, whereas ASIO is just the input. Um, just the in and out, and that's, that's all I get with that. So I use my own um, driver that, that came from the website. And it's best... If you do get a box, use whatever came um, a, a digital sound processor, a box or a board or whatever, what have you. Use uh, whatever software comes in the box. Uh, if it doesn't come with something or it, it comes used and it doesn't have the software, uh, try to find it on, online on whatever brand uh, on their website. And if they don't have it, then use ASIO for all. I usually, I've tried using in the past um, the MME, the stuff that is included on your computer when you it's just the sound card and it's a mess I could never get I always had maybe three full seconds of delay which is it's insane you can't work with that it, it just sucks so go to asio for all.com click on well that's my other one you click asio here asio for all here and then open it up and like I said rise it slowly until you get no clicking you're gonna have to click out of it every time and then adjust this so down here is zero. And then you should be good. And if you're having any problems uh, with with that, um, comment below. Um, ask me a question about the, about any point that you're having some sort of concern that it's not working out for you or something is not right. And the best way to do is just hit a key. And if it comes out like pretty pretty close, if it comes out like right when you hit it, then you're good. And you want to hold down for a little bit make sure there's no clicking or pop and then you got it so uh, yeah any questions or comments just uh, shoot them towards me and I will answer the best I can thanks